Welcome back to Sport Eagle TV's Basketball Insiders, and we welcome back head coach of the German national team, Chris Fleming. Coach, we haven't had a chance to speak to you before, but congratulations on the appointment. Thank you. It's been a few months now. Everything you expect in the job, the challenges, the, the excitement, and, uh, and, and the job and the task at hand. I think it's, it's been everything I've, I've expected in, in, in terms of the enthusiasm and the hype surrounding the, uh, the, the challenge. I think um, it's really tough at this point to, to measure where you are exactly because you don't have the players every day and, and uh, in the end you, you don't actually know who's going to come. You, you know, guys uh, are committed and they've all, they've all said, hey, can, we want to go. Uh, but at the end of the season, you know, different guys have, have injury issues that they have to deal with, contract issues that they have to deal with, and uh, uh, I think, you know, it's just a bit of a waiting game. Uh, but uh, until now, it's been, uh, it's been a really positive feedback from, uh, uh, from everybody, and, and we're pretty excited. What is your timeline? You mentioned injuries. We, we put that aside. But what is your timeline to say, okay, these are the, the pool of players from which I want to take uh, to to your basket this summer. Well, you know, I think we've developed in the last years in in, in Germany. We've developed a uh, um, a much wider base of of, of young players. Um, you know that have, have developed, and I think we need to honor that and, and, and bring more than we have in the past into into uh, into training camp. I think we know pretty much. Uh, you know, except for maybe one or two spots, who we're going to invite. Uh, but we're talking still about uh, 20, 22 guys. So I, I think after the first uh, first couple of weeks of uh, of working together, I think we'll have a pretty good pretty good projection of of, uh, uh, of who's going to be there at the end. I'll ask the question that I'm sure everyone wants to know. I don't Did, believe it. No, that's not it. Did Dirk Nowitzki ring your arm and say, I'm coming? I mean, would he, is he interested? Has he shown that interest? And uh, would he have a spot? Um, you, you know, I think I sat down with Dirk. He's, he's interested in, and, uh, you know, he, the, the national team means a lot to him. I don't think people understand how much it means to him. Um, on the other side, he has a lot of stuff on his plate right now, and, and uh, I think he's a he's a guy that that, that doesn't take his responsibility lightly uh, to the Mavs right now. And, and as a as a father, he's got got two two very young kids and just uh, had a second. So you know, I think he's uh, he's really going to give it hard thought. Uh, uh, and I think somewhere deep inside of him and his heart, he wants to play. Uh, I think we just have to see what the what the situation looks like after a season. And, you know, Dirk is a guy. He's he's paid his dues. He's given Germany everything. Um, so uh, you know, we're really hoping that he plays. But I think we need to understand too that uh, you know he's going to be 37 this summer. He has he has two small kids at home, and you know we we just have to see what what condition he's in. Very politically answered there. So we're catching up with you here at the Bico Top Four, the Bico BBL Top Four. You've been at many games evaluating the talent. You've probably seen the teams. We're heading towards the playoffs. Without getting you in trouble, of course, you're the former coach of the Bros of Baskets. Who, who, do you, who do you see is rising up? I mean, we got the, t the big Bs, Berlin, um, uh, Berlin, Bamberg, and, uh, and Bayern. Um, and, of course, Bonn may also be in the playoffs. But the rest of the league, is it a very balanced league, or do you see one team coming out on top? Well, I think it, it's, it's maybe a little less balanced than it's been in the past. I think the three top teams are, are considerably above the rest of the league. Um, you know, and that may be a... You know that may be a, just a, a developmental hiccup. You know, with some some teams that have traditionally been very good, like Artland and Oldenburg, have not had their best seasons. So, you know, maybe it's a little unfair to say. But this season, I think the the championship is divided with those three teams. I think we saw the the difference in the first two games yesterday here at the at the cup, um, and uh, so I, I think you know it's from from my perspective pretty safe to say that one of those teams will, will probably win the championship and a final question Eurobasket I actually forgot to ask about that your group have you had a chance you were evaluating your own team have you had a chance to evaluate the competition 
Well, I, you know, I think they're all in the same boat that we are, you know, just waiting to see uh, who's going to play. And, and uh, so I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense um, to, 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 to spend so much time with them. And, you know, at, at, at the end, so we're, we're a, as a federation, we have a new coach, the fifth new coach in, in five years. And we have to get these guys together, a group that hasn't in this form been together yet, and develop a, a, a culture and develop our identity as a, as a group. And I think that's where we need to, we, we need to, to be focused on our process and, and much less on, on, on what the other, other guys are doing. There's enough time for that. Preparations underway for Eurobasket 2015. One of the host countries will be Germany. I'm sure it'll be quite exciting for Chris and for the rest of the team to be, to be playing host. We'll be keeping an eye on that. Coach, as always, thanks a lot. Okay, so thank you.